music is pumping and we're gonna definitely get a copyright strike if we go in there with you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. That we kicked this one in just after we checked in at Changu. So this is the Citadines Changu. And check out this for a bit of a room. So this is actually like a, one of our cheaper stays. What is it, like 140 bucks for two nights? No, 176 for two nights, including breakfast. Yeah, it's actually really good. Looks like they've recently upgraded all their rooms since COVID. Yeah. Super modern. Quite cute. We actually haven't stayed in Changu before, so we're looking forward to walking around the streets and seeing something different. Um, it's not that far from Legian where we were, but it ended up being like a 40 minute drive because the traffic was crazy. So first impressions of this place, it does look a little bit like a prison. So it's got like lots of levels and lots of iron bars, but it is actually a really nice spot. Uh, it's got a really cool pool and- Two pools. Two pools, rooftop and ground level. And now we're gonna go for a walk into Changu and have a look around. Open. Open. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you gotta press the button. Oh, I do that <laughs> yeah, I've done that every time for her, just press the button first and she thinks it's like open <laughs> like an automatic door. Thank you, have a good day. You too, have a good day. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. How was it, Bryce? Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. Good? Yeah, that's nice. Last night, Bryce and I went out for dinner and we found these markets. So on the way back, we bought some fried chicken. I'll put a couple of little videos up here now. Um, and we brought it back for mum and dad because they were just hanging out in the room last night. Yeah, we will probably be heading here again tonight or this afternoon for either a couple of drinks or something. And yeah, check it out. We'll show you the fried chicken in a box. So it's like it's a glass box and then they, they've already cooked it and then they just chuck it in, reheat it and it's wicked. They also do some really nice like corn on the cobs and mini burgers and things as well. I don't think this is really like a westerners market. I think it's more for the Balinese and local people here, but it was really good anyway. It's pretty wild. This is a two-way street for cars and bike. And trucks. <laughs> and buses. <laughs> We've just uh, stocked up with a few soda waters and a few bits and pieces for tomorrow. We're heading to Balian Beach, which is a bit more of a rural spot, private villa. So get yeah, some snacks and bits and pieces and we're ready to go. We're not really sure how many big shops and stuff are up there. I think it's very like old school Balinese, little warungs and that. So that's why we've had to stock up while we're in busy Kangu. Changu. Ch Changu. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're wondering what Chelsea pulled out of the box at the market, it's some chocolate brownies. Wow, $3.50 for them. $3.50, and this is a chock-a-block box of brownie too. So she chock gave us a- a block <laughs> <laughs> She gave us a bit of a taste test, and then she's like, only 35,000, and I was like, how can I say no? Yeah, so we're gonna smash these down, and hopefully get some more later. How nice is this? Got rooftop pool and beach views. Even better. We'll take you over and have a look. So this is the Citadines. I know we mentioned it a little bit yesterday, but it is a really good price in Kangu. Seems pretty central to everything that we've wanted to do anyway. Um, you've got the beach just over there. You can probably see. Yeah. So there's like um, Finn's Beach Club, that's not too far away. Um, the center of, I think it's Barawa, it's just a short walk. Seems to be heaps of restaurants around. So yeah, it seems like a quite close central location to a bit of everything. Yeah, it's 
definitely a lot different than Yakuta and leg yarn and Seminyak and that, but it's been really refreshing because yeah. you haven't got all the hawkers trying to sell your stuff when you walk down the streets yeah. a little bit. Being able to walk down the roads and not have to hear transport, taxi, <laughs> taxi, and just getting yelled at all the time. Oh, hey boss, wanna buy this? So it's quite refreshing to come somewhere and uh, be able to just relax and walk around. Yeah. We're back at the markets for dinner and we're just gonna, I'll just talk to you now before we get there because the music is pumping and we're gonna definitely get a copyright strike if we go in there with you guys. So we're gonna show you everything, we're gonna have some dinner, probably go find a nice spot in the grass to chill out and have a few bintangs. <laughs> Cheers you, yeah? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good day. Hey there, so this is our spot for the next three nights. It's called Balian Beach Villa. And yeah, we've got it all to ourselves. Should be really good. Alrighty, now that we've got all our stuff dropped off, I can finally take you for a bit of a tour. So the first stop is the pool. How nice does this look? So we've got the ocean here, we've got our own little private little river inlet. Um, we can swim, paddleboard, and do a few bits in here. Looks really good. And it's quite hot and humid today, so I can't wait to get into the pool. Through here, we've got the living area. So there's a couple of bedrooms down here, and upstairs is my and Chelsea spot. It's still a shared spot anyway, but our bedroom's up here, and there's a nice little lounge area, and wicked balcony with some cool views. Our bedroom through here. So if anyone's interested in staying at any of the accommodation we've stayed in Bali, just chuck us a message or visit the description box below the video. I'll try and put up as many details as possible. But yeah, feel free to chuck us a message on Instagram or YouTube and we'll get back to you. We're gonna go for a quick walk. Um, the beaches here are a bit uh, riddled with some bamboo and stuff because they've had unseasonable rain. Normally this time of year is their windy season, but they've had a heap of rain and just different and it's washed up all of this bamboo and stuff. So it's a little bit crazy to navigate through, but it's actually not too bad to walk on. We're gonna go for a walk. There's a few warungs down here we're gonna hit up later for some afternoon drinks and just go have a look on the beach. The water here does look a bit manky, but I can assure you it is so nice to swim in. It feels so fresh and clean, even though it doesn't look it. Yeah, but you can see our feet. Yeah, it is really clear. It just It's just because it's got a black bottom. It uh, doesn't look as nice. And I'm just scared of crocodiles in here. <laughs> Even though they don't have crocodiles and in Bali. There are no crocodiles here, just for everyone at home. But yeah, when you come across something like this, it reminds you of Far North Queensland and very crocky. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow. 
Camera too. Yeah. Have a nice trip. Hey, see you next fall, Charles. So we come down for a couple of bintangs and heading along the beach. Got a nice fancy little spot. Fancy. Yeah. Primo location. Imagine the price you'd pay down here for a restaurant if you're in Australia. So this is where we went, walked earlier. And this is where we're going to have a few afternoon drinks. Oh, that looks good, Brad. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a sachet sauce on it. Wow. So everyone else has got Balinese, and as always, Chelsea's like, I want chicken nuggets. Have a look at this. Not every night. Or one out of two. They do look really good though. All right, so Gary's led us on a shortcut. You're gonna have to hold this, somebody. We're gonna have to climb a fence and walk through some palms and- Oh my God, oh! All right, just I'll hide that bit. <laughs> In you go, pop it. I'm not tall enough for that. Come on, puppy. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring the dogs with us. Yeah, bring the dog. Come on. Oh, they didn't want to come with us. Well. Well, we're not taking Gary's shortcut again. We might have just been able to go over there. <laughs> So you did follow us home. Yeah, How'd you get through? I knew we was gonna come by. Oh, you got them fleas. Got anything to eat for you? Come here. Come here. Someone's like bleached the tips of his tail. Well, that's a good reaction. Check this out. We got two of them here now. <laughs> got the second one come to round two. Hey, Would you guys like to hop in the pool? Yeah, um, jump the fence. We can always open up bed. the other villa here if you want. Feel free to check it out. Got a spare bedroom if you want. Make spare sure to couch. make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube as well. <laughs> <laughs> Freeloader. Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Very gentle. We know where you live. Good job. Oh, they're gonna be out the morning. There you go. We've had a little bit of entree, a bit of appetizer, a few beers down the beach, and now we're gonna head up to the markets. We did come up here last night and there was a few more bits going on. So hopefully the same is still happening up there tonight. Bit of uh, fried chicken and a few other bits and pieces. So it should be really good. Sweet. So we just got 10 of these tempura vegetable little bite things. They're almost like chicken nuggets, but vegetable versions, and they are pretty good too. Got some satays from here last night and it was so good so we thought we'd come back so it was fried chicken too last night but they've had the night off to get something different instead
thanks for watching another video of us over in Bali. If you are enjoying these ones, please make sure to like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Yeah, we'll be back in Perth next week, picking up the van. Hopefully it's still in one piece. So we'll see you next time. Catch ya.